we'll get Cookie to go in. Obviously, there's a fair bit of depth about 10 meters in, and there's a little bit of foreground. You know, is there enough foreground where I'd be hanging around there? Probably not. This is not a concealment exercise for all the experts out there who like to pull things apart. This is to show, you know, that in just how the inter integration of this particular con camo and the system itself um, works in an Australian envir environment. So you just head in there, mate. I mean, there's plenty of there's plenty of areas in there for um, for Michael to actually um, silhouette himself and actually um, you know. So if you just go down, mate, um, keeping make sure you can keep eyes on us here. So you yeah, I'm keeping some right sort of relevance. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, and you know the system itself blends in really well, right? It's a it's a it's a bit of a tough environment. We got really green. You got some darker background, um, but the the actual um, camouflage pattern itself is doing its job so um you know from all intents and purposes even i can see you but i would have to be really looking at you to know what that you're there um yeah so it's pretty sublime it's 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 all about being super lightweight and having that agility you know a system that can put in your pouch don it um you know go do a concealed activity come back out do another activity um you know it's about having that capability on you at all times so if you want to come out, mate? Cool. Okay, um, you know, let's remove that particular camouflage uh, colouring. Hey presto, we've swapped um, Cookie out to brown. There's beige, brown, and the green that we saw earlier. In Australian topography, this brown and the green are just going to literally um, pop in and be um, like tactically sound in nearly every environment. The beige may be a bit more um, arid, um, but realistically, I, I, I can't see too many environments, in, in, especially in Australia and, and then overseas in some of the jungles that are, or all the jungles are in, where this would not be effective. So we just go same position. Like I said, this is not a concealment exercise. Um, there's very little foreground. Like even where Michael, where Michael is now, uh, it's pretty putrid in terms of um, foreground, um, plenty of depth, but it's about 10 meters behind him. So, you know, for, in, for, the, for what we're doing today, it's, it's actually showing that the system is working really well. Um, just so I know that you can see how many fingers? Three, four. All right, so, um, you know, obviously he's still got eyes on us and realistically, even watching, looking at his position where I know where he's sitting, I can see him because I'm standing here. But um, unless you knew that he'd gone in position, it wouldn't be the case. So, you know, when you're looking at an incredibly just um, instantaneous position, um, the system works really well. Um, and if I could get you, as you come out, uh, Michael, uh, maybe come up, take your system off, and then obviously come out as if you were then going to do another um, tactical application. You know, so what it take about 10 or 11 seconds to, to doff it and put it, put it away, like realistically, what's a rush, right? The key takeaways for it are super light, super stowable. Um, and, and obviously, it needs to be effective. Um, and, it, and realistically, those two cams, I'll be happy with either of them in about 95% of the topography here in Australia and, you know, a lot of the environments we operate in. Um, and it's actually a really cost-effective um, capability too right yeah absolutely price points you know comparable if not better than most of your sort of commercially off the shelf oh, sorry commercially available uh, ghillie systems yeah. um, that con camo pattern is super effective as you said in 90 percent of uh, environments um, and they're always looking to release more as well so they're working on an urban pattern as we speak yeah. and then another one in white for uh, obviously arctic environments yeah cool